Hi, I'm Greg with the Rio Jewelry Tech Team, and today I'd like to talk to you about maintenance on your VIC-12 casting machine. About every 30 hours of use, the oil in the vacuum pump should be changed. A few good signs that it's time to change the oil are, the oil visible in the sight glass becomes milky or cloudy, the vacuum pull is losing strength, the oil level in the sight glass is low. To change the oil, set the VIC-12 near the edge of your work surface and open the front of the cabinet to access the vacuum pump. Attach the drain hose to the drain valve at the bottom of the pump, then open the valve to allow the oil to empty into the container. Then close the valve. Open the fill cap and refill the pump with fresh vacuum pump oil. Check that the oil reaches the fill line on the sight glass. Then close the cap securely and close the front of the machine. After about 90 hours of use, the oil in the vacuum pump should be drained and the pump flushed out before new oil is added. To flush out the pump, follow the procedures we just demonstrated to drain the used oil from the vacuum pump. Then open the cap and fill the pump two-thirds full of flushing oil. Because it is lightweight, the flushing oil should never be left in the machine and used to invest or cast. Close the fill cap and turn the machine on. Allow it to run for three or four minutes, then turn off the machine. Open the drain valve and empty the flushing oil, then close the valve. Then simply refill the pump with vacuum oil as demonstrated earlier. Periodically, and especially after a blowout, the casting chamber must be cleaned to remove investment and metal debris that may accumulate in the bottom. To clean the chamber, remove all gaskets or adapter rings from the chamber opening at the top of the cabinet. Use a shop vac to clear away any loose debris or investment particles that may have dropped into the bottom of the chamber. After a blowout, it is necessary to open the front of the cabinet to access the casting chamber. At the bottom of the chamber, find and remove the adjustable hose clamp from the black rubber cap that covers the base of the chamber. Inside the cap, or just inside the chamber, is a soft fiber pad made from a ceramic-like insulation material. If the pad is damaged or has holes, replace it with a new pad. If it is not damaged, simply clean away the debris caught in the fibers and reinstall the pad in the cap. Replace the cap on the bottom of the casting chamber and secure it in place with a hose clamp. Routine maintenance will keep your VIC-12 running smoothly and efficiently. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, please contact us.